Hi guys, I'm Francisca. I'm here with Cultural Journalism Campus in Hong Kong at Art Basel Hong Kong. And we're here for the second preview day. And I'm going to have an interview just now with a local artist. So this is Morgan Wong. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. He is here for the second time at Art Basel Hong Kong. And he's been working for around 10 years and we're standing here in front of one of his pieces, the one that he's currently showing at Art Basel Hong Kong. So, Morgan, can you tell me something about the work that we see now in the background? Sure, yeah. So my piece is coming from a Chinese proverb, an inch of time for an inch of gold. So it's mm -hmm. actually thinking about the materialization of time. And then the materialization of time is something that I've been working on. And I'm seeing uh, time as kind of like something that I cannot control. So, in a way, it's almost like a currency that I'm translating or converting time into something that I can control of. And then in here, as you can see, um, there are four different watches in here, gold, uh, fake gold watches. And then they are all suited with um, concrete on the watch face. And then by a very absurd way of kind of trying to stop scientific time, the gold watch is becoming uh, a pure kind of gold chain in its appearance yeah and so it referenced back to the proverb and then in here you see different chains of um, gold watches and then they are almost like seemingly um, different systems of time in a way like um, perceptual time scientific time or even like um, recently I'm starting to research on um, philo uh, theoretical physics um, about um, the passage of time might not even exist so um, these are like different appearance of uh, appearance of um, um, time, but then you never find like the real time is. So I put a real gold chain inside one of the concrete um, faces, and then you never see where it is. So as we never see or we never know where exactly the time is. So you're actually kind of, I mean, you're entrusting the viewer that they believe that there is actually gold gold chain yeah, hidden yeah. somewhere like I mean I can't I can't know mm. I, I'm supposed to trust you on this yeah, right yeah 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 and the whole work <laughs> is so much about like a uh, belief system in a way so much like um, we believe that time exists or like time passing exists mm -hmm. yeah so um, it's kind of referring to that as well yes yeah. yes yes and you were saying an inch of time for an inch of gold is a Chinese proverb. Yeah. Is it also kind of like the Western way of saying time is money? I, or think, I think it is. And also I remember there should be a, a proverb in, in English relating to um, time and also like um, literature as well, kind of reading as well. And then actually the origin of the proverb is actually coming from a literati um, poem saying uh -huh. that um, because of the because of the literati is um, reading um, too much and then time kind of flies and then like yeah they think about um, the materialization of time into kind of like a really um, valuable yeah yes 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 and so you've been working with the subject of time for a long time now yeah a long time <laughs> a long time yeah and so how are you I mean it's it's kind of your dilemma right as I if I if I see that right so how are you dealing with time or yeah. what does this mean to you because in a way like I see the passage of time as a predicament something that I, I never can control or we cannot control yeah mm -hmm. because time keep on passing and then like it just kind of goes and then like we can never do anything about that yes, yeah yes. so in a way I'm always trying to find way to to stop time or maybe to go against time yeah but then it's always kind of like a futile Fertility in, in the works as well. And then I think the recent development of my work of researching about um, theoretical physics actually opens up a new door for me because um, they are saying about the passage of time might not even exist. So this kind of like gives me an, a very good exit in a way that like mm -hmm. I'm not bound by this kind of uh, a, a circle of understanding of time, but then there is a new door to go. Yes, and so you like. What are different ways you tried to stop time? Yeah. So, like one of my earlier work in 2013, mm -hmm. I have done the durational performance of holding a cup of concrete. Um, oh yes, I've yeah. seen this. 
from uh, midnight to another midnight mm -hmm. and then um, because um, time keep on passing and then um, the concrete will becoming hard mm -hmm. from dry to, to hard. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like capture time but in a way like the title I got time is never kind of true in a way. So it's kind of like a pun as well. Yeah. So you feel like we're not like we can't control time, like, like we, we are not, yeah, like even if we're trying to measure time, try to be on time, yeah. try to do something in a certain time slot, yeah. we're never... Yeah, because it's always bound by that um, system of time yeah. Yeah, that we experience in scientific time. But then, although there are kind of perceptual time as well, kind of like going into transcendence, but then in these all the things like in our physical kind of attributes, like we are still kind of bound by that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And so, how have you, like, how have you decided to become an artist in Hong Kong? <laughs> For me, I think it deals with like uh, my education. So, okay. um, in my education, I started with a creative media background. Yes. So, I have been um, educated about um, using the photography, um, video, or installation as a medium. Yes. But also, kind of thinking about conceptual art. And then later on, um, I go on to London to study my master degree um, as a for fine art. And yes. then for that, like um, even though I study in sculpture in the department, uh -huh. but then I research a lot on um, time and also um, performativity as well. Mm -hmm. So I think these kind of um, threads are kind of being pulled from my previous work and then to kind of being consolidated. Yeah, and so that's why I'm kind of continuing working on this subject matter. I see, I yeah. see. And so how long how long have you studied in London? I've for? studied there for two years. For two yeah. years. Yeah. So your master was two years long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I yeah. see. Thank you so much. Thanks. And is it hard to be an artist in Hong Kong? Uh, I think one of the hardest thing is like because of kind of like a land problem in a way. Uh -huh. Because um, there are I mean the property price is always kind of keeping going up. Mm -hmm. And then in a way, like um, we always have to find new studios and then these kind of instability is actually like um, in a way blocking mm -hmm. the continuation of like the practice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah, that's kind of one of the most um, um, difficulties in a so way. So space. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. The most difficult. Yeah. Okay. And then if we are thinking <laughs> about space in relation to time, then it's like, yeah, space time. Space yeah. time. Yeah. Yes. Are you, uh, you, uh, you also did um, a work uh, referring to Albert Einstein, right? Mm -hmm. Where you, I think it was called your head is always older than your feet or the other way around? Yeah, I think it's the other way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's our heads are always younger than our feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. right. So yeah, right. it's actually relating to something that I'm starting to research about um, uh -huh. in relation to gravitational um, time dilation. Uh -huh. So talking about, so basically the real, real, real life example is like satellite. That, oh, um, yeah, 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 because of the gravity actually slows down time. Mm -hmm. So um, the satellite have to kind of adjust the time with compared to um, the ground level. So in a very microscopical and also kind of very absurd way, mm -hmm. our feet and our head is actually having different kind of speed of time. <laughs> yeah. So in a way of thinking about that, I created um, a dance piece together with a choreographer mm -hmm. um, and also uh, with the video elements as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much, Morgan. I guess we have a lot to look forward to in terms of your work thank since you you're so like uh, researching on this subject yeah. further on. So thank you so much. Thanks. And yes, thank you so much. Woo. <laughs> thank you so much for watching this. And we'll see you later on this day because we have another live coming up. So we're CJC and yes, thank you.